hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video as you can tell by the title we're doing a pack with me and i'm so excited because we are finally going on our cruise we booked this cruise back in october when we were on our honeymoon and it just felt so far away but we're finally here we leave for orlando on friday february 11th and i'm so excited i've never been on a cruise neither of us have ever been on a cruise so this will be our first cruise i've done a lot of research watched a lot of videos on things to pack things to not pack things to not do things to do while on a cruise i told myself that i was not going to wait until the night before we leave to pack so i'm going to pack tonight i think i'm going to try and pack everything i've washed all of my clothes i have like all of my essentials and all of that so i should be good to pack everything tonight we're gonna be gone for seven days and of course i'm gonna be vlogging the entire trip so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so that you can see all the vacation vlog first things first i want to show you guys all the things that i bought for our cruise like cruise essentials i got everything from amazon as usual but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that i bought so our specific ship is called the mardi gras carnival cruise so i got us mardi gras beads um I know that they're doing some type of celebration while we're there that's like Mardi Gras themed so I wanted to be festive and got us some beads. The next thing I got was something that I found on one of the videos that I watched but it's these magnet hooks. I guess the cruise ship walls are magnetic so you can like put these on the wall and hang your towel or hang your like wet bathing suits. These look really small and I was kind of worried about the size of them but it says it can hold up to two pounds. And the next essential that I got were um, we got motion sickness bands and then also also got Dremamine. It's the non-drowsy motion sickness medicine. I don't really know how these bands work, but I heard that like it works off of your pulse or your pressure point. So we got both just in case. I don't think I'm gonna suffer from mo motion sickness, but when we were in Hawaii and we did our snorkeling cruise, we did feel like we were still moving after we got off the boat. So just to be safe, I got that. Staying on the like medicine topic, I have really bad allergies and I really don't want people to be staring at me when I'm like sneezing or anything. So I got some allergy medicine and I also got Benadryl just in case this allergy medicine does not work for me. We bought a first aid kit. I know we'll be on like a boat that has a medic area, but just to be safe, I got us a first aid kit and this could be used for like while we're on one of our excursions or anything. Got some Clorox wipes to wipe down any of the surfaces in the room. Got both of us some bathroom wipes. The thing I got is some sun bum chapstick this was something that every single video that i watch recommend that you get because you can get sunburn on your lips which i did not know so i got some sun bump and then the next thing that i got were these cruise luggage tags so you put all of your like boarding information in here and then stick this onto your luggage it does come with some wired zip ties that look like this so this just goes onto your luggage and then the last thing that i got off of Amazon for this cruise was a bathroom organizer for like all of our toiletries. And this thing is amazing. My mom has always had one of these. Every time we travel, she brings something similar to this. So I wanted to get one, but this is what it looks like. And it's so long, like I can't even, so this is the top and then it goes down here. So it has so many compartments in it. It also has a front pouch up here at the top. And that's everything that I bought off of Amazon for our cruise. Giving you guys some little more detail about our cruise. We are going on, um, like I mentioned, on the Mardi Gras Carnival cruise. It is a seven day cruise. We are stopping in San Juan. We did book an excursion there. Um, I think I'm going to save that for the actual video. And then we're going to the Dominican Republic and we're also going to Grand Turk or Grand Turks and Caicos. So I'm really excited. Turks and Caicos was somewhere that I've always wanted to go. So it's really exciting to know that we get to go there and other places. I think cruises are a perfect way to travel because you get to hit many other islands and countries in one trip. It is kind of quick because we're only spending like only eight hours on the island, but you get to go to a lot of places. So I'm super excited, but I do need to start packing. So I'm gonna show you guys everything, all the clothes that I'm bringing. I apologize in advance if the lighting starts to get weird. It is five o'clock. Oh no, it's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. So the sun is starting to go down, but I think the lighting is okay for right now. I wanna show you guys everything that I bought clothing wise for the cruise. So I shopped on Zaffle and Fashion Nova. Zaffle's Zaffle's package was not as fun. A lot of the stuff didn't fit me right and I didn't really care for the way some of it looked. So I'm only bringing two of the items that I got from Zaffle and then everything from Fashion Nova fit me, of course, so. Okay, so this is what the first bathing suit looks like. It's this hot pink one piece. So this is cut out and then this zip ups, zip, zips, zips, up, zips ups and down. And this one is my second bathing suit. So it's just another pink one and it has like a little hole here in the front and in the back. 
And then this bathing suit is from Amazon. It's from the brand Cup She, I think that's how you say it, but it's this yellow cute bathing suit. I have been obsessed with this color and it has the cutouts on the side. And then the back is my favorite part. It's very low, I guess like square cut back. The first outfit, it's a two piece. So it's this tube top with, with this skirt. So it's a two piece and it, it's a pretty long skirt. This one is from Fashion Nova. Just so you guys have a better look at this two piece. This is the top, and then this is what the skirt looks like. I don't really know if that last clip got it very well. The next dress, which I'm so happy I found, this like satin brown dress. It is so freaking cute. And this front like ruffles up here at the front. So on the first elegant night, I'm gonna wear this. I also got this casual dress it's not very fancy it does have a slit in the side but it's just a basic like maxi dress so i brought this just for one of the cruise days I have this orange top it's like a crop top from fashion nova i also have this brown top it's the same thing as the orange one but i've wanted to get two basics just to wear with like shorts okay that's everything that i bought for the cruise like clothes wise the rest of the clothes that i'll be packing is gonna be stuff that i already have i was waiting to see if we got like an itinerary of things that are gonna be happening on the boat while we're there so that i could pack accordingly but we haven't gotten that so i think i'm just gonna pack as if i was going on vacation and going somewhere hot so lots of shorts I don't want to bring any jeans with me. I'm really trying to bring outfits because I don't want to overpack. So I'm going to go ahead and look through my closet and see what else I can pack for this trip. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? I don't have as much clothes as I thought I did that's like summery. Maybe I got rid of a lot of summer clothes, but I pulled out these two tops. So this top is just a black top and it ties in the back so it's open back. And then this top is like just this red open back top as well. So I'm gonna bring these two. I think I'll be okay with not having a lot of tops because I have a lot of dresses that I can wear. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Okay, so Lavelle came in and started packing with me. So I'm gonna go through each day with you guys. Up here is our airport outfit. I have um, a pair of Gymshark joggers and a t-shirt and then a cropped hoodie. And then Lavelle has Nike sweats and a Nike top. And then our first day or the embarkment day, the day we get on the ship, we just have a pair of shorts and jeans for like the first night and first dinner. And then the first day we have bathing suits and jeans and a top for the both of us, because we're probably gonna be by the pool and just hanging out. Day three, I have a pair of shorts and a top, a bathing suit, and then a dress for elegant night. We don't know what day is elegant night just yet, but we just put it with this one just in case. And then Lavelle has shorts for by the pool, his swim trunks, and then his outfit for elegant night. Day four is our first day in San Juan. So I have an outfit for the tour, and then I have a dress for dinner, and then Lavelle has the same thing. He has jeans for the tour, and then a nice outfit for dinner. And then day five, we're gonna be in uh, Dominican Republic. So I have a pair of jeans and a tube top for the walking tour and then a nice outfit for dinner. And then Lavelle has a pair of jean shorts and a white shirt and he's probably gonna put on like another pair of jeans for this night if he wants to change. Cause we're going on a really long walking tour. So we might get a little sweaty. So we might change um, once we get back to the boat. Next day we'll be in Grand Turk. So I brought a pair of like shorts and a bathing suit because this day is where we're gonna be on the adult only beach and then Laval has his swim trunks. And then our last day, I feel like if, whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> our last day is our last day at sea. So I'm gonna just wear this jumpsuit probably all day and then put on a bathing suit in the morning when we're at the pool. It looks like a whole mess right now. All of my workout clothes up here. I said I was gonna probably do three days of workouts, three or four days of workouts. I don't, like I wanna go every day, but I'm not gonna commit myself to going every day because I probably won't. It makes it feel more real now that we're packing everything, but it's already eight o'clock. So I'm gonna um, start putting everything in the suitcases and try and get everything to fit, but I will see you guys in a little bit. If I 
Okay, so I think I'm done. This is like a weird angle. <laughs> you guys are sitting on my bed frame. Um, I think I'm done packing as far as everything that I can pack today. I do have this packing list that's super long. Um, I packed all of our toiletries. The only thing that's left out is our toothbrush and toothpaste, our body butter, my shower cap, Lavelle's contact cases and razor. So we'll pack that stuff tomorrow. And then obviously like our wallet ID, passport, vaccination cards, like all of that stuff is unpacked because it's the stuff that we need tomorrow. And then all of like our electronics, I'll pack tomorrow as well. But as far as clothes, I have all of our clothes packed. I will show you guys how I have everything packed in here. I kind of had a mini breakdown because I don't think I realized how long seven days really is. When we went to Hawaii, like. I feel like we were able to pack in a carry-on, but since we're gonna be on a boat in the middle of nowhere, I felt I feel like I have to pack a lot more. I did like take some stuff out and repack and reorganize, so it's a lot better now and I'm a lot calmer. I know it doesn't look like everything's organized, but we'll start here. So I have sweats, pajamas, underwear, bras. Underneath I have all of my outfits. So jeans, my jumper, more jeans. This is a workout top. My swimsuit cover up down here, more t-shirts for like sleeping, jeans, dresses. I have all of my bathing suits here in this corner and then shirts and other outfits are right here. And then I I don't know if I said this, but these are like pajama shorts. And then in this area, I gotta find the zipper. I have all of my workout clothes here. And then underneath, I have my shoes down there. This is the toiletry bag that I just packed. It's full. So I have that down here. I'm not gonna open that because it's just really full and I organize it very well. And then I have our vitamins right here. So that is my main suitcase. And then I am also gonna bring this duffel bag. And I have like my sandals in here and all of our like COVID test, lint roller, Mardi Gras beads, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna put my iPad, my Kindle, my purse in here, and then any other extra stuff that can go on the plane with us because this will come with me on the plane. I feel a lot better than I did earlier. Tomorrow will be like the final packing and I might reorganize my suitcase one more time just to be sure that everything fits. I probably will have to pay extra because I don't think this is under 50 pounds. I'm happy that I was able to get everything packed, but that's gonna be it for tonight. I will pick back up the camera tomorrow. We are getting our COVID test tomorrow and I'm gonna finish packing and we're gonna get ready to leave. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is the next day i just got home from the office lavelle and i got some at home COVID tests we're also going to go to cvs tonight just get a test from them because we're supposed to upload our COVID results to an app but we're not sure if they're going to accept these ones because it's literally just this is just this little test strip and then we're following along on the app we want to just make sure that Everything checks out. We're able to upload this negative test. We're also gonna get the backup just so we have an actual document that says that we are negative. This vlog is gonna be so chaotic, but I bought packing cubes because I just don't like the way I pack and I feel like I could use my space better in my suitcase. So I bought packing cubes from Amazon. So they should be here by three o'clock. So I'm gonna repack everything. I know it's kind of crazy, but I would just feel better knowing that I can bring all the clothes that I want and have these packing cubes. Cause apparently packing cubes are supposed to be able to help you pack a lot more in a smaller space. I am not doing anything at work today. I'm on lunch right now. I'm about to edit the video that you guys are watching right now so that this can go up while we're out. And yeah, hopefully the rest of the day goes smooth. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Okay, hi guys. It is several hours later. I completely jinxed myself. I got super busy at work. We are back, we are ready to pack. As I mentioned earlier, I did get some packing cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and move all of my clothes into the packing cubes. I have, an, I have a large, medium, and small clothing bag and then an underwear bag. And then laundry bag, toilet tree bag, makeup bag, and another laundry bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and then I will show you guys what it looks like once I'm done putting everything in here. I just finished packing everything into the packing cubes. This makes it so much better. I was able to pack everything in here so I have clothes gym clothes um i think this is like underwear and bras on this side i have jeans shoes underneath my toiletry bag 
another bag that I don't know what's in there, and then sweat. We are all packed and everything is in here. The only thing left to do is to just make sure all of our toiletries are packed, and then I need to pack my duffel bag, and then we'll be ready to go. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's getting very long, and you're not gonna miss anything with me packing my duffel bag. It's just all of my electronics, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you're excited for all of the vacation vlogs to come up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up Might have caught the dream